So, after 15 years, my furnace is not working well. I cleaned all the filters and it's still doing it. It kicks on and runs for like 5-10 minutes. You'll see the flame up through the glass, but then it just shuts off. So I looked online, and of course there's lots on YouTube, and there's a sensor. See that way back there? There's a nut and a little sensor. I mean, seriously, like I can't even fit my hand in here. And I got to get and unscrew that little nut way back there. I mean, really. So I bought and bought an extension so I can get it up here because I can't reach it. So I'm going to have to use this ratchet set to get that undone and hopefully clean it. Hopefully that's the problem. It's the flame sensor and they get can get gunked up with carbon. So let's give it a try and see if this works. Here I have my little extension and a ratchet. So let's see if I can get it up here. I might have to get it in there first. I might need two hands. Yeah, I need two hands. It's impossible. Like, look at how tight that is. I just squeeze that in there and get this little screw. This really makes me angry. Hold, please. Okay, I got it ratchet in there. So I'm very slowly, I have to inch my way to untighten it. Total pain in the butt but it's coming slowly. So that was the darndest screw to get out of there. Oh my gosh, that sucked. I put paper towels down in there. I hope I get them all out because I didn't want the screw to get lost. So now I gotta pull a sensor and hopefully not destroy the sensor. So here's the sensor. And it doesn't look that dirty. I wonder if that's it, or maybe I should just buy a new sensor after all that. Maybe I'll just buy a new one. But they say if there's any carbon on it, then it won't it won't read the flame well. So I'm gonna try to clean it, but maybe I need a new sensor. The white doesn't look cracked. But I, evidently you're supposed to do this every year as part of maintenance and I haven't touched it and it's almost 15 years old. So let me clean this up and see if it'll work. So I'm taking my Brillo pad. I'm going to clean this off. I'm hoping this does it. So I sanded it pretty clean now. There's no like black lines. Most of the black line is off. It's better than it was. You can still kind of see it, but all the videos I saw, basically, you still kind of maybe see a black line. You just want to get the carbon out of there. So I sure hope that did it. Let's put it back in and see. Okay, so my newly cleaned flame sensor is back in place. That was a bear trying to screw it in there. I mean, seriously. Like, let's see if I can look at it this way. I mean, it's... <laughs> It's really back up in there. Um, there. There's a flame sensor. And now I'm going to turn it on. By the way, I had turned off the furnace. You never want to do this when it's on. You turn off the breaker. And I turn off the gas too, just in case. And now I'm going to turn it on and let's see if it works. Okay, so now I'm going to turn back on the gas. And I'm going to turn my switch on. Now the furnace should kick on. Yep making noise so the flame sensor makes sure there's a flame so that gas just doesn't pump into your house so if this flame doesn't come on through this viewfinder the flame sensor is supposed to tell the system that and shut it down so it just doesn't keep releasing the gas so it should ignite here here goes the blower starting. Let's see, it should light now. Yep, there it goes, it's starting. And there's the flame. The blue flame. So it's working. It should hopefully stay on this time. But before what happened was it would fire see the gas coming out to ignite the furnace, but the flame sensor wasn't reading that there was a flame, 
so it was shutting the furnace down. And there the heat goes into the house. Everything's working. And I just saved myself like 400 bucks.